Hi everyone, I'm Shay Rochelle, and uh, you're watching Beyond Incredible. Ashley Nicole is away for a few months, so she was kind enough to let me take over the show. So I'll be hosting by myself for about the rest of the summer. And uh, basically, today's date is July 12th. It's a Saturday, a gorgeous summer Saturday. And uh, we're here live at the Business Accelerator, located at 720 Oulette Ave. Uh, yeah, from the and my guest today is uh, the wonderful Nancy Tessier, who looks quite gorgeous today. Thanks so much. I'm always happy to be here. Yes, and you're from the, Wisne the Windsor Business Acceler uh, Business Networks. That's right. And you're Business Networks. Yeah, and you're always a regular guest on the show. Yeah, there's always so much to talk about when I come in here. I know. I was going to say, welcome back. You haven't been here since Thanks. April. It was the yeah, last video. Yeah, it's been a long time. It was wow. cold weather, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what's been new since then? Well, right now we have um, street re repairs in uh, Walkerville. Right. So we're digging Walkerville. It's it's a campaign. Like literally, called, is it like a big? Yes. Yes, the whole street is um, is closed off. Yeah. But you know we're still open for tra for uh, walking for business, traffic. Yeah. And everyone's open. All for the stores business. are open. So. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So there's a campaign called Dig Walkerville. Right. Tell us about that. Oh, it's fantastic. It's to let people know that we are open for business. Mm-hmm. We don't want them to think just because we're having street repairs and streetscaping yeah. that we all just suddenly close down. For yeah, the next don't stay months. away. No, no, come on in. We're still open for business. Yeah, we have parking. We personally have parking behind the building. Okay. So, um, you know, it's it's a matter of taking assumption and coming up Windermere to get exactly. to the Mashup Cafe. Good. good. Other people also have parking arrangements. Mm -hmm. So please come on down, dig Walkerville, help yeah, us along definitely. during this time. You know. You know um, what? Support us. It reminds me of—is it like the of the Ottawa construction? The Ottawa it's exactly, construction? exactly. They're doing yes. it again. Yeah. Well, hopefully yeah, they, they get are. it done soon. <laughs> but I mean, I'm sure it's for a good reason. It's going to be beautiful. Obviously, yeah, they're doing it yeah. for a reason. So. so you know, anyone interested can come in and pick up these cards. And there's a map on the back that shows you the detour. That's what's open right now. Great. Yeah. No, that's wonderful yeah. to have that too. Yeah. It can so be frustrating if you don't know where to go and then you say forget it. But don't forget it. There's there's a way around it. Yeah. They're still open. And remember we have ice cream, so you, you want to make oh. an effort to oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get all hot and, and uh, bothered for looking for parking, you can have some ice cream. So yeah. there you go. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the things that's going on right now. It's okay. it's a big thing, it's a big deal. So yeah. oh, we want to sure. get to, you know, by all means, um Use the hashtag Dick, Dig Walkerville on okay. Twitter yeah, and on Facebook. Media. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. We want people to know that we're open. Okay, great. That's good to hear. Now, with your store, what's new with your store? Oh, with our store, one of our merchants won the Greenest um, Greenest uh, Business Award right. at the Strawberry Fest. Right. Because he uses all organic soy in his candles. It's ah, the Wilkinson candles. Yes. Very excited for that. I, yes, I've seen that store. Very popular. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So they're one of our merchants in our store. So uh, they have a few um, new products in. They have mm -hmm. the melting pucks. Mm -hmm. So instead of just... Yeah, instead of just having a candle that you light and whatever, you can also get the pucks. Okay. And they're... Um, so to keep safer too, I know a lot of places uh, where I am, I can't have candles. So right. I kind of been using the scented, the wax that melts, That's and I'm exactly like, hey, no flame, it and it's just yeah, yeah. even more. They have, more scent. Uh, I think it's the eight packs. Okay. Where you break off a chunk and melt it, but he also has pucks. They're a little okay. bit bigger. Yeah. They're heart and um, flower shapes. They come in. Oh, I don't know. I think thirty cents or different. Mm, you know, different scents like that. Nice. Really great stuff. Yeah. Really good stuff. He has the coconut. I'll be picking up that one for sure. Well, he has Jamaican <laughs> Me Crazy and all I those other that. great yeah, ones. That's, yeah, that's yeah. great. <laughs> awesome. Now, I want to say you look amazing, as usual, but especially <laughs> today, I'm noticing the hair and makeup for sure. Right. Well, Who the hair it? and makeup mm -hmm. was done by um, Tarantino from okay. um, Paper, I want to get this right, Paper Dollhouse Pinup Photography. Yes. So anybody that's interested, Love, check yeah, them out check on out Facebook. Sure. Because she also teaches burlesque Ooh. through Breathe Pilates. I like it. So, I mean, she does the whole, she wants women to feel good about themselves yes. and carry themselves a certain way. Right. And she gave me, absolutely. Yeah. Well, she did eyebrows because you know from previous shows mm -hmm. that I have very, very They're little. They're the, the uh, last thing. I never remember to do them. I don't know. I mean, yeah. it does make a difference for sure. Yeah. So she gave me yeah. eyebrows and I'm like, wow, I have eyebrows. Yeah, that's <laughs> such so a nice. little thing. Having your makeup yeah. done, And right? then she 
did the flowers. The in my flower hair is and perfect. So this is all done by Teresa now um, from Paper Doll House right. uh, Photography. So please check out their Facebook for sure and uh, like them and contact her. Yeah, and she'll do the whole. Um, yeah, does she have a team? Does she do it like? A bit of everything, the makeup, hair, and uh, she does photography. everything. Wow, so she does everything. Yes, as a matter of fact, if uh, if you go on our page on Mashup Cafe or on Windsor Business Network, mm -hmm. our cover pay, uh, our cover picture is two of the pinups that mm. she did. Yeah, and she shot it at Mashup Cafe. Wonderful. Is that the two girls in the chairs? It is. Oh, wonderful. It is. Yeah. Yes, that's a beautiful <laughs> photo. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. She does a great job. She did their hair and makeup as well. Okay. So she does everything. She's right. just phenomenal. No, she really is. I think she's one of the people to keep an eye on. I think so, too. Yeah. yeah how long has she been? Because uh, she's definitely local. I'm not sure how long she's been in the business. I yeah. think a number of years. Probably for a while. But she also was featured in a magazine for her makeup. Okay. So really do check her out and yeah. uh, let her know we sent you, either myself personally or Shay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And show. I'm always right because I'm working a lot with models. We just did actually a vintage pinup style calendar and the proceeds oh, are going nice. to be going to the Windsor Essex County Center Foundation, um, the Cancer Center Foundation and uh, definitely check out the Facebook page Antique and Unique Calendars for Care and you can buy uh, the calendars, they're six ninety nine, and you can buy them online as well and yeah and we had our makeup done like this style and it's mm -hmm. just it's wonderful. I mean, having your makeup done anyway is great, but just especially with that era, I just love yes. it. It's so classy. It's fun. It's so dress up. Yeah. You know, you feel like you're dressed up when, when you put a flower in your hair or the Definitely. makeup. Definitely. You do the eyeliner that has the wings or whatever. She just did such a great job. Yeah. It feels good yeah. to be done up. Oh, for sure. Now, with the Windsor Business Networks, what's new with that? We're still promoting the local events. Yeah. And we're doing all that. I'm doing a little bit less of the job postings. I'm I was going to just ask about that. What's new with any job postings? Well, for I post the as much as I find. Yeah. But the uh, the truth of the matter is, it's kind of hard to find jobs that people want to apply for. Right. Um, they don't want seasonal. They don't want. It's so hard, you know, right? It's it can be like stressful because you think seasonal and you're like, hey, great, I'm going to have this job for two, three months, whatever. But I mean, yeah. it is something. But I can definitely see, yeah, yes. where it can be a little stressful. So. There's a, a very high level of frustration, and I understand that Windsorites are looking for a job that they can build a, a future on. Right. I understand all that. Yeah, for sure. Um, the problem is that they need to work with me. Yeah. Because they don't. I don't think a lot of people patient. realize that yeah. I volunteer. I don't okay. get paid to do this. Right. So when they're frustrated and they take it out on, on me. Oh no! <laughs> it's don't take it out on Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like okay, well, I'm trying. I'm trying to find oh, of course. all the jobs. Yeah, I can. don't take it so, out. So <laughs> we've had a lot of people come in just to meet me mm -hmm. and say, "I found a job. Thanks so much." Yeah, you know? and do share your stories with Nancy because oh, kinda, I love it. That's what she's you know out there to do is to help. So I mean, if yeah. you kind of give her some feedback and let her know, you know what's been. Yeah. Good in the so right now I'm trying to concentrate on yeah. what kind of jobs do women's rights want. Um, yeah. What kind of pay scale like? I just, I'm trying to gauge what to look right. for because if I'm posting 40 jobs a day and, yeah. you know, 30 of them aren't ones that are being um, nicely received, then right. it's a waste of time. It's yeah. a waste of everyone's time. Yeah. Because it does take me about, it could take me up to four or five hours to look for jobs and post them. Really? That's a lot of That's time. That's a lot of your time and volunteer time, remember. Yeah. So. And I start at seven in the morning. I start oh looking at goodness, seven in the morning. You. That's, yeah. I get You're up, I quite help. literally yes. <laughs> pick up my computer, sit in front of um, yeah. my table, and start a search. Right. And people need to remember, too, she's getting up this early just to volunteer. So, yeah. you know, you need to, you know, be open, open minded. Early hours, maybe not your favorite. I hate mornings, but you actually, know what? I don't mind it so much. I'm, no, I've been doing it for so long; it doesn't yeah. bother me anymore. Yeah, you but it is it. just frustrating because sometimes I find this, the same jobs posted over and over, and I think, oh, wow. wonder why, right? Lots of turnover, they say. So that's, yes, yeah. So I do understand the frustration, and and I appreciate it when they work with me. Yes, I hate the negative, um, the venting that I get. The the male right. that's just, they're frustrated, and I understand it, but it's like you're shooting the messenger. I have nothing to do right, with Right, exactly, and that's <laughs> the available. main thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the ones that do step up and say, you know, you're doing a good job, it rejuvenates me because I think, wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, you need what that an amazing feedback. thing. Yeah. What an amazing thing. You're telling me I'm doing a good job. Yeah. You're giving me the energy to get up again in the morning and do it again. Yeah. Exactly. So that's where I'm focusing right now, trying to find jobs that people can raise their families on and yeah, build careers. That's what, that's what everybody wants for sure. Yeah. Now, other than having a professional great resume, what would you recommend people do to stand out as a person? I think they have to develop skills that are more diverse. Mm -hmm. um, they can't concentrate all their energy on one or two things. Right. When somebody, when an employer asks you, um, tell me about yourself, they don't want to hear what you've already written on your resume. Exactly. They can yeah, read it. I, sometimes I've been like, oh, look at my resume. But it's like, yeah. no, you grow no, as a they, person and realize. That's yeah, exactly what they want to know. to them. Yeah. They want to know that you are a, a well-rounded person, someone who has outside interests, someone who cares for their family and their, their career, of right. course, but someone who has a lot going on yeah. that's, the job is not going to be overwhelming, you're well-rounded, mm -hmm. you're going to go home at night and balance yourself out and come in refreshed in the morning. Exactly. And they want to hear you brag. I mean, a lot of times, like, I yeah. try to be humble. I don't, I don't really like to talk about skills and stuff. It feels weird. <laughs> but they want you to brag. They want to say, hey, you know, why should we hire you? And then you got to tell them, right? you got to yeah. be honest and just say, hey, because, you know, I'm all yeah. that in a bag of chips. you got to be confident. Well, you have to be confident. Mm -hmm. um, Bragging a little bit goes a long way. Yeah, bragging yeah. too much might put the employer. Yeah, yes, exactly. You know. Because then you don't want to act like you're taking their job too. Because I know yeah. a lot of times they think, oh, okay, well they're looking for the manager position. Well, that's my job. <laughs> that's so my calm job. Down. <laughs> yeah, but we're yeah. just gonna file this resume yeah. in a special exactly. bin. Exactly, <laughs> that's what they say. Yeah, and that's uh, right. thrown in the shredder. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's true. But definitely. so yeah, that's the kind of things you want to bring to the table. You want to show them that you're not only um, employable, that you can be an asset on the job and away yeah. from the job. You have to also be a responsible person. You have to show that even on social media, you're not going to trash them. Oh, it, yeah, because they're looking at that now. Like They yes. honestly are. They're looking at your your profiles, and I, and I mean pictures, everything, your status. They're looking at pictures, work statuses. Work today. You might not want to put that. Um. Yeah, <laughs> and they can see comments you've they made can. publicly on other pages. Yeah. And they're gauging what kind of person you are. Right. On what you're posting. Yeah, so you have to into be, your life, so you got to be careful. It really is. Yeah. So when I vent on my page and some of my friends get to see it, they often wonder how I get away with it. Well, because I use my filters so well <laughs> that I'm saying, like, <laughs> you group can see what I post and yeah. everyone else can't. Yeah, if you had you yeah. know, something you do want to talk about and vent, just make sure you kind of keep it more private. Yes. And I don't, I don't know, sometimes they, your boss wants to friend you. I don't really know about that. They might look too much into things. I mean, it is still Facebook, and if you yes. you add who you want to, but but I know, yeah, a lot of bosses are on Facebook. Yeah, social media is uh, it's where everyone's going. Yeah. Everyone's doing everything through social media, and it's a really good idea to know how to filter things, to right. know how to use your filters properly. Yeah. Because if your boss wants to friend you and you don't accept his friend request, yeah, that can be a little be bit, a bit of tension next day at work. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to put a little bit of a hiccup in your um, yeah in your career. So you want to be able to friend your boss and yeah. not expose yourself um, completely. Right. You know, you want to be able to still have family uh, pictures and whatever that your employer doesn't get to see. So keep that sure. in mind. And if you, if someone needs help, they're welcome to call me in yeah. or come in and I'll show them Give how to use their filters. And, yes, exactly. Yeah. Now in the job market, I know um, stats have been a little lower mm -hmm. previously, but for the summer, have things been picking up a bit with with summer Statistics employment. Statistics in it, yeah. Okay. Summer employment. So it's the temp, the student uh, things, of course, have gone up. Yeah. The regular stuff has gone down. Um, Anything that stands out that you've heard of recently? Not really. Yeah. It's been very, um, it's not a dynamic season. Right. Nothing great's been happening. Right. Um, like so I said, hunt student, even more, right? Yeah, hunt get more. Over, yeah. Anyone who knows how to create something for, them, for themselves mm -hmm. is... Uh, will be further along doing that. Right. Um, while you're still looking for a job, you want to be able to have a niche. Like if you have a craft um, idea or something you do or something you create, go with it. This is yeah. the time to do it. This, I mean, they say, uh, what is it, necessity is the mother of invention. Mm, I like that. This is a good time to invent, right? to get out there and do that yeah. while you're looking for a job. And if you find a job, like if, if it's to the point where you really need a job and right. it's a matter of paying the bills, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Right. So you and might I mean, want to 
get a job while you're searching for your career. Yeah, and really hone your skills. I mean, you know, dig deep and say, hey, is there anything I'm really good at? Mm -hmm. um, that can really help with looking for a job. And then doing things on the side. I have my own jewelry line, Maple Syrup Jewelry. You can catch it on Facebook. I'm wearing it today. My little Very nice. tassel necklace with the raspberry agate gemstone. But, I mean, stuff like <laughs> that. I do it for myself. And then on the side, I'm like, hey, I should sell this. Because, I mean, it's something that I love. And I've been told I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you use that. You do whatever you can. I mean, the job, That's the jar true. market is hard. But, yeah, you do whatever you can for sure. That's true. And yeah. the great thing is there are so many uh, new shops that have opened. Along, well, with me. We only take people who are businesses, okay. registered businesses. They have to carry insurance. Right, smart. It's yeah. someone who's ready to have their own store but just needs to be incubated a little bit longer right. until they get bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're a little bit of a different category. But there are craft stores mm -hmm. where they take your crafts and sell them to the public. Yeah. Uh, oh, from our hands, uh, I think it's called From Our Hands to Yours on Wyandotte right. Street, is a great example of that. Right, so for, sure. for a very small fee, I'm not really sure what their rates are, but right. it's not it's not a lot of money. Right, and there are venues. I mean, we just had recently Art in the Park, uh, venues where you can sell if you do arts and crafts. So, I mean, it is something that you can, you know, get help with, and of course Nancy can help with that for sure. Well, so, we can direct you, that's yes. for sure. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Oh, I'm just, uh, with that and with um, the Walkerville Art Walk and Rock, which we just had last weekend, yeah. phenomenal event. Ooh. What a great, great event. Okay. It's, uh, I mean, my hand was swollen at the end of uh -oh. Saturday. What'd, what'd you do? We served so much <laughs> ice cream and oh, okay. coffee yeah. that my hand literally was swollen for oh, two my days. Goodness. I said, wow, look at this. It's wow. like a badge of courage. Yeah. It was great. It was oh, so yeah. much The fun. weather's been great for, for all of these events, too. Yes. We've got another one next week at, in Bell River, and it's going to be the Sun Splash event in Bell River. And there's going to be, I was talking about the calendar I'm working with as well, we're going to be uh, Norm... Ackland Jr. Uh, he's an Elvis impersonator. He's Tell wonderful. me you know him. Yeah, oh, I do know <laughs> him. Great. He's so much fun. Yeah, yeah. No, he is great. And he's going to be there performing Saturday. So we're going to try and do the show down there Saturday and have it uh, uploaded a little later. So he's going to be there performing the Calendar Girls. I'm going to be there all dressed up. Hopefully you can come nice. for sure. I'll sure up style. Yeah, because we're going to have mm -hmm. the vintage cars and everything too. So, I mean, there's always stuff going around Windsor, a little bit outside of Windsor. But I guess it's by the lake. Is it? I'm not sure. I've never been over there for that event. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, I hear there's like boating and everything. I'm like, wait a minute. I need to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. really nice area. Yeah. They do so much over there. Yeah. Um, they fix things up really well. Right. I think sure. you're, you're going to have so much fun. And oh, Norm is such it. a fun performer. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. No, I'm going to definitely go. And well, I'm going to let everybody know uh, with Cheritino. I'm going to mm -hmm. let her know. And yeah, have please the do. Pin up girls show up. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that would be, be so great. Of course, yeah, we'd love to have her there. Yeah, definitely. And there's going to be in Collingwood, too, the big Elvis Fest. Are they going to do that in Windsor again? I'm not sure. Because I've seen a banner. I've been here for about four years, so I don't know, a couple times I've seen the banner just right at the beginning of Ouellette, and uh, they say the big Elvis Fest. And I know mm -hmm. that's really popular. I love how they keep that going. But they're having a huge one July 23rd to 27th in Collingwood. That's where my mom lives right now, so it's like perfect for, I don't know if yeah. I'm going to make it up there, but it's, yeah, that's quite a ways yeah, from here. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. So mm -hmm. I'm sure Norm, our local talent, will be there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know him? Do you know Norm? I know him through the calendar project because we had him performing for a couple of our fundraisers. So he's I'm going to get to nice meet him guy. next week. He's I'm a excited. nice guy. He's a great performer. He's just, an, he's just a nice guy, like mm -hmm. someone you can actually um, be proud to promote. Yeah, no, that's great. And that's he's important. a really... He's really good at his um, Elvis impersonations, and his son is also an Elvis impersonator. Really? So he can yes. do the, the older version of the Elvis? Oh, I mean, his son is just and a then, little guy. Oh, that is adorable. He's adorable, yes. Really? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So it runs in the family for sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know when Elvis started, but I know he was pretty young, maybe in his early teens, I'm thinking. Hmm. It yeah, seemed it like he was around for a while, yeah. So well, he was came. around when, uh, well, he must have been in his early teens because... Um, he was drafted when he was 18, wasn't mm -hmm. he? So oh, oh, I don't he went know. went into really. the Army. I, I He's a very interesting was, person, for sure. He, he did is. a lot. And he was really good looking in his Wasn't he? Youth. Yes. Yeah. Norm, yeah, yeah. You pull it off well. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, a lot of women love Elvis, so that's Oh, that's for sure. Great. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now so, yeah, we have Lola Palooza, or uh, Balloon of yes. coming up. Yeah, okay, good. So, right on Ulet there, usually yep. we have, like, the big parade, and I love that. You see on top of the buildings, the big... Uh, 
blow up, I don't know what you call them. They're pretty inflatable. Big, yeah, the inflatable little mm, inflatables, I think yeah. that's all they're called. And they're usually like cartoon characters. Um I love Bert and Ernie when they do <laughs> And I see SpongeBob a couple of times and Actually, it's really I, cool. I, Kermit. I really like the uh the dragon. Yeah. Mad. Oh, I loved it. It was a big gold dragon. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's funny. You're driving down. If you're not that. knowing what's going on, you just see these cartoon characters on yeah. the buildings. And you're like, how did they get them up there? Why are they there? It's yeah. for Balloon of Palooza. It's another thing we've yep. done in Windsor. And, it's and they every close year. the streets off. Yeah. So it's a nice they big They do. And they open, have like a venue um, for concerts. And it's just yes. all the outdoor patios are open mm -hmm. and food and drink till your heart's content. And yes. I'm enjoy. hoping to make it. And I'm hoping to go into Milk's and have a drink there or coffee yeah. or something. And how, uh, what time is it going to be? Be I'm not sure. It's it's two days. Two days. Okay. So yeah. Coming up soon. So we'll keep you updated yeah. for sure on the Nostrum Media Facebook page and let you know when all of that is coming up. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Of course, we'll be promoting it on Windsor Business Network yes, page definitely. as well. Yeah. So that's what we we're really good at that. Great. <laughs> great. Now show me. You have some goodies. I keep seeing sparkles to my side the sparkles, over here. It's actually my my earrings. Okay. Um, they're part of the Blingit um, merchandise that I we like have at our that. store. The thing is, they're not regular earrings they're the ear cuffs they're not at all they're so classy yeah Ooh. they're ear cuffs but i don't wear ear cuffs i wear earrings right yeah ear so i bought two of them oh wow oh that's quite <laughs> and fancy I just, yeah yeah and i, I just like took that. the chain off okay and the ear yeah, cuff and made regular earrings yeah, why not it. right yeah so it's not hard to do and then you no. can put it back on as you yeah. want as well and it's i mean it's they're very inexpensive these are 375 each very so. inexpensive Yes, yes, it's definitely a great buy. So a pair of earrings <laughs> for like that's, that's all I did, like about seven bucks. That's yeah, pretty great. That's Lots all of I length. did. So I kept I kept the chains in mm -hmm. case I ever decide to, um, I don't know, dress it up or right. or use the ear cuff or that's something. Do, yeah. <laughs> that's great. So that's all I did. Yeah, yeah. pretty neat, eh? Very neat. <laughs> that's, I, I have so much time on my hands at the store. Yeah. So what do you? Well, what new products are coming in? Right now, I'm concentrating on uh, the Blingit product line because they're trying to get rid of a lot of their stock, yeah. and they're trying to, um, I don't know if she's going to reorganize or whatever, Yeah. but she's also getting rid of her fascinators, so they're on oh, okay. sale. Yes, I do know what those are. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so they're on sale. Yeah. We're kind, of, we're kind of excited about it. I bought myself one. Yeah, um, they're the little um, things that are not quite a hat, but mm -hmm. they do kind of sit in the hair, like another, I guess, pin-up style thing. Yeah. And they have, like, lace and flowers. It's it's really cool. Yep. Yeah. I bought one that's, like, a little tiny hat mm -hmm. with feathers and stuff on it. I wore it all the way home the day I bought it because I thought, <laughs> yeah. I need to buy it now because um, if she sells out of all of them, then I'm going to snooze. So Exactly. I was so excited. I wore it all the way home. Felt really good Why too. Not? <laughs> Why not? Right? I thought, well, how can I make this part of the work uniform? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm no, sure I'd look kind of silly wearing it every day, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know, right? Um, so, what else is coming up here that you're working on for the rest of the summer? Um, uh, right now, we're reorganizing. Yes. Um, some of the way we do things at mm -hmm. our store. We're fine-tuning a lot of our our policies and right. such. We're making sure that there's no holes in anything that can be um, exploited. Right. Because whenever there's a, a as a business owner, you got to keep up with the times, right? Well, you there do. Are new things constantly. Whenever there is a vulnerability, someone mm -hmm. is going to exploit it. So that's where I'm at right now, making sure that all our policies are yeah. airtight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as product lines, we have um, we still have the balloons. We still have everything that we normally have. Our baked goods, we're not having them as often. Okay. You're doing more ice cream now, you're saying? We're doing a lot more ice yeah. cream. And I just, uh, you know, there's only one person doing everything. So I really can't take okay. care of everything in the store. Right. So um, the baked goods, we try to keep them around on the weekends. Yeah, for sure. And, nice and not fresh, so much right? in the week. So, yeah. Yes. So right. we have, we and kind of developed much. a formula yeah. for how we're doing things to get through the season. Yes. For, you're having like a big blowout sale, you're saying? We have all kinds of sales. <laughs> yeah, oh my constantly. gosh. Yeah. Well, I'm keeping up with everyone. Yeah. Everybody exactly. that wants to have a sale, mm -hmm. they're like, you know, 
And I tell them, you have to put it in writing. Yeah. I need to know when it starts, when it ends, because yeah. I can't just guess. Exactly. That's important, right? Because I always miss out on the sales. And usually people tell me right when I walk in the store, and they're like, oh, yeah, we just had this big sale. And I'm like, okay, that's great. <laughs> so it's good to know, right? When you go in, like, how long it's going to be, too, that, that really helps for sure, and then gets people in there a lot more. Well, the worst part of it for me is that everyone has a Facebook page. Yeah. And they will post the sale on the Facebook page, but right. they'll forget to tell the store owner who's yeah. conducting the yeah. business. Yeah, use Facebook, so, tag, and do all that stuff. Share. Exa <laughs> yes, exactly. I actually post. had some women come in to mm -hmm. collect their uh, winnings, and I said, what? And they oh, presented right. me. <laughs> Where did you get that said, coupon? <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, yeah. I, I have to contact the business owner because oh, yeah. I can't just hand you products. Yeah, so, people printing up their own thing. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> So I texted the, that particular store, store owner, and I said, hey, I've got people here yeah. collecting. Oh, gee, I forgot to tell you about right, it. Right, right. <laughs> I said, okay, that's fine. How many can I expect? And he said, there's two. So Oh, okay, yeah. I said, okay, it's not a problem. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> he right. Said, Anyone can just print up one of these things and yeah, come in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's little things like that where I have to, you know, Make sure they understand. Yeah. They need to let me know when something is going on because oh, sure. I can't just, you know. And during the art walk, mm -hmm. I had uh, one of our artists was outside, and she yeah. said, I'll just send people in. If they like something, they can take it off the wall and come out. And I said, no, they, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they can't. No, yeah. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Yeah. They're not going to get out the door with the product. Yeah. <laughs> I said, if they'll be right back with this. <laughs> I, I said, trust you, but yeah. I can't keep up with everybody doing it. I said, you can understand the dilemma I'd be in if I let people walk out with yeah. the product. She said, oh, okay, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> so as a business owner, I have to think of all aspects of any Definitely. vulnerability yeah. in anything we do. Sure. So um, it's a learning curve. It's yeah. only been a year in, in the actual retail center. Mm -hmm. So it's a learning curve exactly. for me and for everyone else. Yeah. And um, how long have you been in business the Mashup Cafe? Well, the Mashup Cafe is part of the one-year okay. retail center. Um, the business itself, Windsor Business Networks, has been around for uh, five years now. Oh, okay. Um, prior to that, it was by Domestic.net, oh. which is still going on, and it's about 15 years old. So I've been trying to promote local for a very long time. Yes. yes. That's yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's just, it's all a matter of, you know, it's a learning process for me. Yeah. And for the people that come on board. Yes. What's your favorite part about being a business owner? My favorite part with what I'm doing right now is meeting people. Yeah. Um, when I meet people, pleasant people. Yeah. There's miserable Definitely. people in, 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 in every business. Yeah. And we have miserable people that come in, and I just like, yeah. how do you? I, nobody knows. <laughs> like, <laughs> how come you're yeah. not happy? Yeah. And I'll say, you're shopping. Like, What's wrong? <laughs> yeah, I'll just hand them their products, and I'll say, have a good day. And yeah. they look at me kind of funny, like, yeah, thanks. For That's that. my day. It's just... <laughs> not so great already yeah but usually it's because what's going on in their head not so much what's going on around them yeah so i i've learned to uh kind of take it in stride when someone comes mm -hmm. in they're miserable it's got nothing to do with us no but the happy people are amazing yeah and the regulars we've built up uh quite a few regulars and they're they're great you know you get to know them you get to know their life and um it's just fun that's yeah. the most fun yeah definitely so, yeah, that's and great. I think I think one of my absolute favorite things is um, when people come in to meet me because of what I do online. Yeah, exactly. That's that I can't tell you what a thrill that is. Right. Because yeah. it's like, oh wow, I, I'm actually right. Yeah. Well, yes, and I'm meeting someone who is working mm -hmm. because of something I did. Yes. I've exactly. improved their life even in a tiny little way, and they're so grateful and they're so thankful and yeah. they're so happy about it. So that's happened like. About a half a dozen times, yes, I think. Yes, exactly. And you did win an award uh, when I first looked yeah, up. Yeah, that was last you November. Up, right? Okay. Yeah. I won the BizX uh, Powerhouse Professional. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, cool. someone noticed that I work hard. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Don't you love that? Yeah, when it is, yeah. no, I mean, awards, uh, you know, you couldn't do any better. But. I've actually won a number of awards wow. prior to that. Right. But, um, this one just has a special spot yeah. in my heart. Right. You know, it just feels like. I've been working so hard. And right. It's, it just fit in just perfectly. Exactly. At a time when I needed an extra Exactly, yeah. yeah. And you've always been in the Windsor area? Always as an adult, yes. Yeah, okay. As a child, I was in Scarborough. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. 
my parents re, um, relocated here mm -hmm. when I was in my early teens, and I've been here ever since. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. well, we love having you here, so. Yeah, I've kind of, um, because I've been here for so many years, mm -hmm. and, and this is where my kids were born, I have a real soft spot for Windsor, and because we're right. a border town, I want to educate people the effect they have when they stimulate someone else's economy. So I'm always talking, and I'm not an outgoing person. I'm not a talkative person. I can just very easily fade into the background and be perfectly happy. But I have to keep doing what I'm doing because right, exactly. I, I'm just so passionate about this area. Right. Yeah, for sure. Now and you're also an implant. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. No, it's true. I'm originally from Vancouver. So, um, you know. Well, finding out that Windsor was indeed a city. Yeah. It's a smaller city than Vancouver, but it's definitely, you know, a city. And it's, yeah, yeah it's, With great it's a people. great place. Yeah. And definitely. everybody knows everyone. They do, <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to get to know people when I go out and do in the wave. Yeah, finally. Yeah, no, definitely. So just make sure my mic is good here. Technical difficulty. Check, check, good. <laughs> no, yeah, so I definitely, I mean, I've been here uh, last, in June 1st was my four years here. So, I mean, wow. I'm really getting to know the area and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, getting this this job hosting, too, getting to know tons more people. Yeah. So, right. and doing the modeling and acting, I'm trying to always network and get to know more people. So And I've seen some important. of your pictures. Thank you're you. You're doing really well with yeah, that, and you're thank very you so beautiful. Much. Thank you. Yeah. I've got my website coming up. I mean, it's a lot more work than I thought it would be because I have a lot of pictures, and I do have my website domain already picked out and all of that, but just uploading all the pictures and picking. Literally, I have about 10,000 photos or more, <laughs> and you got to pick only 12 from each shoot, and that's oh, really, and you got to agree it. with the photographers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Monzini Productions on Facebook did most of my work, and it's just constantly, you know, trying to think, well, this one, and you just tilt your head to a certain side, and it's like, well, that one's better than the other one. So, yeah. I mean, it does, it does take a lot. It's little details like it that. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I, I do the selfie thing, and I, I, because I'm always posting. Yeah, like how many can you take? I mean, it's, Well, I post the get selfies yeah. because I'm promoting someone. Like today it was yeah. promoting Taryn. Yeah. So. How many takes does it take you to get the right one? Oh, 15 minutes. I know, time. right? Like, <laughs> okay. Here we got, we got two minutes left. Two minutes. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Just like that. I know, I know. It's so, always so quick. Yeah. And we always do it so informal when I come in because I love I talk it. so much. I love it. I know, right? <laughs> well, there's so much to talk about with you. Yeah, we yeah. love to have you in as, as much as possible because there is, you do know what's going on so much with Windsor, and it, it is important to have you come in and I keep us updated. I try to keep up to date on, yeah. on what's going on. For sure. Um, and it's just, right now, um, there's so much going on, it's overwhelming. There is, yeah. So... Yeah, there's get out there, people. There's yeah. a lot to do. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, next weekend, we hope to uh, be at the show, the event in Bell River. Sunsplash, it's called. Uh, Antique and Unique Calendars for Care will be there. That's the event I, or the uh, project I did with the calendars. And I'll be there signing calendars, six ninety nine each. And uh, I just wanted to let you know, guys, too, that we have our Facebook pages. So go there and make sure you know the times and everything. And we'll post all of that, as well as Nancy will be posting all of Absolutely. her wonderful tidbits. Yeah, and then um, I guess I will be back sometime next week. I'm not sure when, but we're going to be definitely at the event on Saturday. So just come down and, and see us. We'll be there. So I'd like to thank uh, all our current YouTube subscribers and fans. Thank you so much for your support. You guys are amazing. And as well, uh, thanks to our guest, the wonderful Nancy Tessier, as always. My pleasure. Appreciate you being here. And it's always, of fun. course, yes, always. Of course, Nockstrom Digital Media. Thank you for putting the show together. And of course, Miss Ashley Nicole. Hope you have a great vacation. Mm -hmm. And we always like to thank uh, Business Accelerator being here at the Biz, Biz X Lounge. Thank you for having us. And uh, yeah, hope everyone has a good uh, vacation, good summer. Be safe. Yeah, don't text don't and drive. To dig Walker. Head down to Walkerville. It's still open. So head down there. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Be safe. We have to say bye. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us. Have a huge weekend.